Hi everyone, I've just had this lovely new book and I thought I would do a little review for you um, so you can have a see what it's all about really. So the Encyclopedia of Coloured Pencil Techniques by Judy Martin and it says here a complete step-by-step -step directory of key techniques plus an inspirational gallery showing how artists use them. I think that sounds really interesting. So we start off with, look at that, lovely picture of a dog. Okay, so we have a forward. Look at that tree. Wow, amazing. So we have a, a list of materials. So she talks about different types of pencils, chalk pencils, wax pencils, water soluble pencils, hard pencils, pastel pencils and graphite pencils. Then accessories, kneaded eraser, plastic eraser, scalpel, torch on white gouache, craft knife, watercolour brushes, pencil sharpeners, masking tape, ruler, paper, sketch pads, watercolour paper and coloured paper and I think yes so we go through start with techniques it talks about how to grip your pencil which is fascinating because I don't know if I grip my pencil very well um, the effects of different grains in your paper possibly not relevant for a colouring book but anyway still interesting um, different coloured papers. Now again these could be interesting if you're printing off things to um, to um, colour in. Um, textured papers, linear marks, different types of marks that you can make. Um, that's more for drawing I would say. And shading. Oh, I can't turn the page though. Um, Yes, yeah, so lightweight shading, heavy and directional and open shading and combining different types of shading. And then blending, which is always useful. Hatching and blocking in. And filling in. And stippling. And graduation. Dashes and dots. Feathered strokes and burnishing. Overlaying colours, mixing pencils. So that's talking about mixing pencil brands, so that's quite interesting. Line qualities, I think that's more for drawing, but anyway. Highlighting, that's very useful. Contour drawing, sketching. Eraser techniques. Solvents, impressing, white line, scraffito, which is scratching into a layer of colour to reveal a surface underneath. I'm not sure I'd want to go near a scalpel, but obviously could be useful. Frottage, which is shading with a pencil on a piece of paper laid over a textured object, such as a basket or metal grid. Masking, graphite pencil, ink and pencil, line and wash, pastel and pencil, watercolour and pencil, collage, tracing, squaring up or down and fixing, patch correction. Transparent supports and onto themes. So we've got landscapes and townscapes, space and distance, colour studies, that's useful, shapes and textures, light and atmosphere, very interesting, buildings. Facades or facades? I don't know. Facades. Townscapes. Oh, I can't turn the page. A landscape. Objects. That's interesting. Look at those radishes. Lovely. Domestic objects. Was useful. Decorative objects. Toys, 
groups. Interesting. Oops. So we have a load of cups, look, vegetables and things. And a table and cupboards. Fruit, useful again. Table settings, interesting. Objects. So looking at form and details, and we've got a glass there and, and things, so that's quite interesting. Nature, it's got a lovely cat. Flowers and foliage, wow, look at that. That's just stunning. And, wow. These look like photographs. Amazing. Believe me, they're not. Lovely flowers. And container plants. We've got a little gorgeous cat inside that one. Animal studies. Lovely dogs and cats and things. Look at the horse. Wow, amazing. Pattern and texture. Look at that lovely elephant. I love elephants. Animal movement. Gosh, that's interesting and quite tricky. So interesting to learn about. Flowers and nature. More florals. People. We don't get lots of people in Johanna's books, thankfully. But crikey. They're very good though, aren't they? Children. Life studies. Movement. Environment. Oops. Expressive portrait. Full length portrait. People, different approaches to the same subject, it says. And there we go. So there's a lot of really interesting reading in that one as well. So I hope that was um, useful for you to have a little look at that one and see what you think. There's the uh, cover. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to learn some new things and pass them on in my videos. So thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.